Hi everyone! We're going to talk about heat can change the way plants grow. High temperatures affect plant growth in many ways. One example is the effects of heat on photosynthesis, in which plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to make food and produce oxygen. The sun is very important to all living things. Not only it helps the plants to grow, but also it gives us what we call day and night. It gives heat to all living things in order to grow and live. If there is no sunlight, the earth will freeze in ice and all living things will die. If it is too cold, plants will die. The water inside the leaves freezes. This damages the cells that causes the plant to die. Think about an ice cube tray that you put into your freezer. Each compartment is filled with water. If you could glimpse into a plant's leaves, you'd see a similar arrangement of square-shaped plant cells. Each cell has a rigid outer wall. The inside parts were filled with water and cell structures. When the temperature drops below freezing, just like the water in the ice cube tray, the water inside each cell freezes. This damages the cells of a plant. Some plants go to sleep when it is too cold. During winter season, there is less sunlight that's available for plants to make food. Some trees lose their leaves and stop growing in winter. Because there is no enough sunlight for photosynthesis, most plants lose their leaves and stop producing fruit and go dormant so they can survive the winter. Our atmosphere is responsible for keeping the Earth's temperature stable. It is made up of layers of gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. When the sun's rays warm the Earth, the Earth reflects the heat back into space. Some of this heat is trapped by the gases in our atmosphere, keeping the planet comfortably warm for everyone and giving us a stable weather. When we upset the balance of the gases in our atmosphere, problems will happen. Right now, we're adding more carbon dioxide and methane because of our activities. The result of these additional gases is more heat gets trapped on the Earth that causes global warming. Global warming makes the temperature of the Earth very hot. If it's too hot, plants will die. If the weather is too hot, Plants can lose a lot of water that they need to grow. These may also be manifested by a drooping leaf. If this condition is ignored, the plants will eventually dry up and die. In hot places like the desert, plants keep a lot of water in their bodies in order for them to survive. The cactus keeps water in its stem. A cactus is one example of plants that grow in the desert. A cactus grows spines so animals cannot eat it. Spines help the cactus to thrive in the desert environments by providing multiple functions. They protect the plant from predators, provide shade, help regulate temperature, reduce water loss, and even help the plant to spread and reproduce. Let us summarize everything in this lesson. Heat can greatly affect how do living things live and grow. Plants will die if it is too cold. Plants will die if it is too hot. Some plants go to sleep and stop growing in winter.
A cactus keeps water in its stem and grows spines to protect itself. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something in this video lesson. Goodbye!